Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try this again. So, what I got going on is I figured out the uh, joint helmet mounted queuing system. And because of the F-16, I've actually figured out how to utilize it in the F-18 as well, which is pretty cool. So, for funsies, we're going to jump into the F-18 real quick and go to Nevada free flight and I'll show you what I found and how actually easy it is to turn on the helmet mounted queuing system which is called the HMD in this I think helmet mounted display but I think when you look it up online it's called the joint helmet mounted queuing system so basically what I've done here is I went under options, I did controls, and I bound HMD off brightness knob increase to a button and HMD off brightness knob decrease to a button. So now fix my view. So now if I just turn that knob all the way up, pow, there's my helmet mounted display in the F-18. And it allows me to basically look all over the place. And if I'm using AIM-9Xs, which are all aspect missiles with a pretty crazy seeker head, I could look all around me and target something and launch on it, which is pretty damn cool. So I'm gonna jump back out of here and we're going to go back to the F-16. I think I fixed the frame rate issue too. I had to choose um, 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second instead of 60 for the recording output. For some reason in OBS, when I did this, I, you create a, a link to the mirror file image or whatever of the Rift, which is what the Rift is actually putting out and which OBS is actually recording. So we'll go to AIM-9X. So anyway, long story short, it seemed to have smoothed it out. Um, I have no problem before performance-wise recording VR, but like I was getting 80 FPS, yet when the video was done and published and put on YouTube, it was like it was playing like it was 10 frames per second, which was absolutely terrible. So anyway, I'm going to fix my view. I'm going to turn on my helmet mounted display. Pow. I'm going to go to air to air mode. Pow. I'm going to go to boresight. There. I'm going to turn and look at this guy. And I'm going to hit the uncage, which locks it. I'm going to fire a missile and it's just gonna find its way to him. Now, I'm gonna do that same thing with this guy. Lock him up, and I'm not even close to being in the same direction as this guy. And slammed. Two down. The AIM-9X is insane. What an awesome missile. Especially for the close range stuff, holy shit. I think this guy's just running away because he knows what's coming. Okay, there was a third guy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that was the one I shot down. So, I don't even need the helmet display for this guy. I could just pop up to him here and get within missile range and let him have it. However, this is a... Uh, this is the AIM-9X instant action mission from the Nevada map, so I think you have to own the Nevada map to do this. But it's well worth it. The Nevada map is just freaking awesome. So these are essentially drones. They're not shooting back. However, I can go in and now select other and activate a live threat which some of the times kick my ass, other times I get lucky and get away with it. 
So we're going to see what we can do right here. Because I see him, and he probably sees me. He's probably already firing. I'm going to lock him up, and I'm not even facing him. I'm going to shoot a missile, and hopefully his missile will not hit me. Oh, he got away from that one. Alrighty. I guess we're going to have to fix him. If I don't black out first. He's pretty maneuverable, but... That should get him. Slammed. How awesome is that? I am really digging this helmet mounted queuing system. Bye bye, Mr. Mig. So, anyways, there we go. So, how I set it up in the F 16 was I went here, I went to adjust controls, and it's kind of hard to see without me pulling back and moving the throttle out of the way. Why isn't the throttle moving? Oh, because I'm... Hold on. Because I'm in this mode. Now let me hit escape again and go back into that. Now we go adjust controls. And, uh... See that knob right there? It's under the HMCS that I can't seem to manipulate very well with my pointer finger here with the uh, Rift S controls, and it drove me crazy. Oh, my battery's low. Wonderful. I don't want to know that. Um, so anyway, that control is this. HMCS Symbology Int Knob Increase and HMCS Symbology Int Knob Decrease. So basically, I just set those two buttons up, and you push the increase all the way, and then it pops up on the screen. And as I showed in the other video, if you hit the... Let's see. Let me go back to this. If you hit Display Management Switch Left, you can also turn it off and on, but as you do that, as you see down here, this MFD changes every time you do that. And then you gotta do it until you get the right order to where the MFD is on and the HM, you know, the helmet queuing system is on at the same time. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But again, I figured out how to use this and it's really fun and it's super cool. And the AIM 9X is a lot of fun with this thing. And I'd imagine it's gonna be the same in the uh, Hornet. And again, because of this, I figured out how to do it in the Hornet. So, cool stuff. Yay me. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. So, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time.